Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God wants to heal you first before he'll bless you. He wants to heal you before he'll bless you. When the Lord gave me this word, I began asking, why would God want to do that? And what kind of healing is God talking about? This is not physical healing. This is not healing from any kind of injury or sickness or disease. This is emotional healing. This is emotional healing. God loves you so much. He doesn't want, want you to ruin the blessing that is coming. So he says he's going to heal you before he blesses you. When you do not heal, from a wound you had it is easy to bleed on people who did not cut you when you did not heal of a wound you had you can easily bleed on people who did not cut you so if you are from a relationship that the person was abused if you're from a very bad relationship it ended up with you being so hurt and maybe traumatized and as long as you have not healed god might not bless you with a good relationship because it is possible you will carry the hurt of the past and bring into your new relationship and you will ruin it the people might have Maybe they were sent from God. They could have been your kingdom spouse. I'm talking about the new person that God, God is bringing your way. It might be your kingdom spouse, your divine partner. But because you have not healed from the pain of the past relationship, you can bleed on them, you can transfer aggression, and you are going to spoil it. So God says he wants to bless you. Maybe you've been asking yourself, God, when? Or you're still holding on to the past. You're still holding on to a relationship that has already been scattered. And God is saying, I need you to let go. Heal of the pain you're feeling in your heart. And when you are moving on, I will send the right one. One of the ways, one of the, one of the things you do that, that is a proof that you've let go or that you've healed is that you forgive the people that were in your life. Or you actually let them go. Holding on to people God has removed from your life for a very long time, holding on to them is preventing God from blessing you with the one that is supposed to come. So this is the process. You've got to let go of them. You've got to forgive them for doing whatever they did to you. And you've got to get ready to embrace what is coming in the future. If you do not go through these processes, anyone that enters your life, it might not last even though they were your divine, godly, ordained kingdom partners. It is not just in relationship. Even in business, career, whenever you just encounter a major loss, you've got to give yourself time to heal before you embark on the other one. If not, you might not be able to judge right. You might do so many things out of sentiments and it will not end up well. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God cause you a quick healing process in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that as you heal, just the right one is going to come your way. As you heal, just the right opportunity will come your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.